Hi, let's understand about the standard bodies who are working on evolving the 5G ecosystem and two of them are ITU and 3GPP. So International Telecommunication Union is continuously defining the overall concept behind the 5G technology, which includes the technical performance as well as the service requirements. We understand that what are the different design goals and the key deliverables which are defined by ITU in terms of speed, in terms of latency, and in terms of other different key performance indicators. And these are then further being specified by the another governing body, which is 3GPP, who produces the reports and specifications that define the 3GPP technologies on the basis of the guidelines that have been driven by the ITU. So ITU will translate all the performance and the other service requirements to the 3GPP, which further then produce the reports and the specifications. And if there is any recommendation, it will give the recommendation also. There are different releases that are there time to time updated by 3GPP. And it keeps on releasing the new specifications because as and when new feature or advancement is happening, it will give up a new or introduce a new specification time to time. So if we look into the different phases or the introduction of releases, we have seen in 2G, it started with the phase one and it went up to release 98. So this is the year 1998 up till where this specification was defined for 2G technology. Then after from release 99 up till release seven, which is 2007, it was then the different specifications designed and defined by 3GPP just for 3G, 3G technology. Then after the release 8 up till release 14, which was then designed by 3GPP exclusively for 4G technology. And after that, whatever the different release that are there in a telecom ecosystem defined by 3GPP, those are actually related to 5G technology. Currently, we have seen that the work is in progress for release 18, maybe after a couple of months or years, we'll see further update in new specifications released by 3GPP in terms of 5G.